welcoming, welcoming me into your home. 44 years ago, I was here. 44 years ago, 42 years ago, I moved to New York. An opportunity arise for more education and employment for me. I was fortunate. I was extremely fortunate because I met my wife, who was a resident in New York. And together, we have been together for 40 years. 30 years is a long time. Congratulations to you all. This is a reason to celebrate. You should be celebrating this moment. It, National MBPA has a variety of chapters, but a lot of them, most of them have not hit 30 yet. So Detroit, that's awesome. Washington, they've been there since uh, for 33 years. Cleveland, 32 years. <laughs> Chicago, 32 years. New York, 31 years. Detroit, 30 years. <laughs> Chicago, 28. They're close. My home, Little Rock, Ours has been in for 23 years. And that's a good thing too. A blast from the past. Blast from the past. Not an explosion from back then, but the word blast means to envision the memories, to invoke the memories of 30 years of what happened to bring you today. I'm going to talk about two things. One, about why, well, while I was here 44 years ago, I was involved with BDA 30 years. And I've witnessed some of those visions and some of those memories and some of those moments over the years. When I was in Detroit, I was born and raised in Chicago. Went to school and studied, and when I finished, I aspired to go back home to Chicago. But, didn't work out that way. I was hired for employment in Detroit. Which was fine. <coughs> I moved. A college student. You know what that means, a college student. That means dirt poor, no money at all. So me, working in Detroit, you know, you get a job here, you work and you get paid every two weeks. But I had to work in the hall. They told me I had to work and I would not be paid for my first few weeks. So I was trying to figure out what could I afford to do. So I ended up going to the YMCA. You want to hire to Highland Park? And I got a room there, just the room. And I would go back and forth from work. Glenn, Friend Jack Love, we became friends. And he said, you live in the YMCA. And he had a fit, he blew it. He was going off. His mother had a best friend. And McDougal Street, she had a house. And she allowed me to have a room there. So I am appreciative to Jack Love. So I left the YMCA and moved into a home. 
And in hindsight, when I arrived to Detroit to work, like I say, about two weeks I had been here, my parents came and said, listen, no, they came and said, you have a visitor in the lobby. And I said, okay, and I checked for appointments. I had no appointments on my books. And I was wondering who that was. And I came out and I looked. And who was sitting out there was a man, a black man. And he waved, he said, hey. And I looked. Who was that person? Andrew Foster. I was in awe. I was shocked. I'm a kid, a young kid. And this man bothered to visit me. And he said, I heard tell that there was a young black deaf person working here. And I wanted to check it out. I was elated. I was elated. I was thrilled that he would take the time to see me. Now, there was an agency at that time here. And there were four of us. Where's Powell? <coughs> Powell? Me? <coughs> Edward? Milton? There were five of us. The white guy was okay, but us four were the good ones. And we won in 71, the championship. Wasn't it 71? Yes, it was. We played ball. We played ball and we did a fundraiser. Now you know about the Lions. They had, they tend to have fun. And they would go and they play games to do fundraising. They would raise money for us. And they raised money for us to go and compete national. Now, I didn't know anything about pro football players, and I didn't know them. And you know, deaf, deaf persons, we, we tend to play defense. You know, we're always huh? We're doing the same role. We don't usually rotate position. So that pro player, Charles Sanders, you know, the famous lion. He was over half court, and the deaf would stay there. And he laughed, and he would throw the ball. He threw the ball and made it from real far. And we looked at him like, oh, we were embarrassed. He embarrassed us. <laughs> you know, the offense, the offense tend to be big guys, you know. The can that push through. Me. I tend to do the rebound. This one day, I ran into brother, and it was like running into a wall. He was so strong. Those pro ball players were good. 